this is a relatively quick video regarding uh, ingenious wireless access points and the problems that they seem to have. Uh, these are older model ingenious. This one is, I think, was manufactured in 2011. This one, I believe, was manufactured in 2014. This one came from a place I used to work. They had a, had several of these. Uh, the company I work for, uh, we bought these and we thought they worked really well. Though we did have some issues at some of our clients. And I think they were later replaced with uh, uh, Cisco. As such, they were sent off for recycling and I took them because they seemed to work just fine. But I noticed that um, mine would occasionally seem to stop working and I'd have to go in and turn it off. Usually the person who let me know was my wife because she used it with her phone a lot. I uh, rarely used my phone and so I never noticed if the Wi-Fi was having a problem but she would just suddenly say hey I can't get on on the internet on my phone and I would go in and I'd reset the access point and everything would be fine the white one uh, was purchased because my brother needed an access point and at the time I thought ingeniouses worked really well and I suggested that we get one of those because because he was using cheap Linksys or Netgear stuff and he was complaining that it only worked in part of the house and anyways so I ordered one of these and it uh, seemed to work okay and then he started complaining that he w it would uh, require the, everyone in the house would report that suddenly wireless wasn't working and there was one two three four at least four people in the house using wireless at any one time and so he I would just tell him to reset it well he would do that and he said it would only work for a day or two and and then it would have a problem again so uh, he got fed up with it eventually, and he purchased a Google um, Mesh network or something like that, and he's not had any problems with his wireless since. Um, I have used this one for a while. I used this one. Uh, I have two of these, and this this is the only one of these I have. And the way I had this one set up for a while is I had one out in my shed, it was outside the shed in a covered area and then there was another access point in the back of the house actually I had three of these at one time there was another access point in the back of the house that was set up as a bridge and I started noticing that sometimes when I was going out to the shed even though this the one unit out in the shed had been off you know when I went to turn it on I couldn't connect and I'd have to go inside and reset the, the bridge. So, uh, after a, a while getting tired of this, I did some research and I found a forum post where someone suggested that they thought key rotation wasn't working or Possibly, the, the problem is I can't find the exact uh, information I found once before. There was something about something internal to the way this worked that it seemed like it would get overloaded or it would run out of being able to do something. And it they would just stop. If you logged into them, you, you would, everything seemed to be working fine, but it just wasn't working. It wasn't... Uh, it wasn't uh, connecting to the, to the network, it wasn't, I mean it was connected to the network, but wireless traffic wasn't going through it, is what I'm trying to say. And 
um, I found out that there was a way you could access this thing through Telnet and I used a program called TST10 and created a simple script and a schedule task on my server and that basically every I think it was every two or three days would reboot it would just log in and reboot the uh, the access point and it, they would work fine I'd have it do it in the middle of the night when no one was using it and, and everything would go, would work fine but I still do have occasions where uh, if it's getting heavily used that I still have to go in and manually unplug it. Uh, the other issue I had with it was that the power supply I had for one gave out but you know that's power supply issue. So I'm going to be de decommissioning these and I've, I have an Asus wireless access point router that I use downstairs and I've ordered a second one that's exactly the same that I'm going to put upstairs and then I don't know what I'm going to do with these uh, I could donate them they work fine but then people would uh, wouldn't would have problems with them so quickly we're just going to open uh, these up I've already removed all the screws and stuff uh, it took me a while to figure out how to get into this one because I was looking at it from the back and there's no screws and I couldn't figure out how to open it. I removed the antennas and there were a couple of nuts holding this on. I removed those but I still couldn't open it and then eventually I turned it over and oh yeah there's a screw here. So once you remove the screw with, there's a couple of rubber washers and that makes it really difficult to pull this out so that when you first open it it's going to be pain. And if you want to put it back together again, you have to put the rubber washers back on. But this is what this thing looks like inside. Um, not super exciting. But I uh, figured people always want to see inside equipment. And then this one, with the handy dandy little thing that says, keep seal intact. Yeah, screw you. Uh, my understanding is that you can put open source firmware on these but when I tried to find the instructions and how to do it uh, the the website for it was just terrible to navigate and figure out and I really didn't care that much to try and do it plus I think it had to be you had to purchase something it was very unclear very so I just said skip it this apparently is a serial interface and there's instructions on how to activate this I think you have to solder a connection and maybe do some other things and then you can get a serial uh, console on this but you can also tell that to it so uh, but as you can see there's there's just there's stuff in here I'm not Clive I'm not gonna uh, try to figure out how the thing works. That's what this is about. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.